Hi everybody, welcome back. This is a very detailed diagram. How to draw the economic cycle with all the little bits on it. Let's go straight to our checklist. What are the key things that we want to include here? We want to be including our boom, recession, slowdown and recovery, the four key stages of the economic cycle. And we also want to show positive and negative output gaps on this diagram. Bear in mind this is also known as the business cycle. Right, let's construct this. First key thing to get right is labeling the axis. On the y-axis, we have real GDP. Make sure you label it as such. On the x-axis, we have time. All right, so we're looking at the uh, rate of growth of the economy over a period of time. What I would recommend doing next is drawing your trend rate of growth, so that constant upward sloping line. Draw that next, all right, and call that trend. Growth. The next thing to do, I'll do it in black, is to draw your actual growth, which is your wavy line, fluctuating line, going above and below your trend rate of growth over time. All right, so it's much easier to draw this once you've already drawn your trend. Okay, something like that would do beautifully. And we can call that and label it actual growth. All right. Next thing we want to do is to shade in our positive and negative output gaps. So the easiest thing is just to shade that one in and to shade that one in. That is a negative output gap where actual growth is less than the trend rate of growth and where actual growth is greater than the trend rate of growth we have a positive. Lovely. And I want to finish this diagram by labelling the four key stages of the economic cycle. Right, so boom is where actual growth reaches a peak, so we can label that boom. Recession is when we hit a trough. Slowdown is when the economy is kind of teetering towards a recession. And recovery is when the economy is coming out of recession and moving towards a boom. Alright, so this economic cycle diagram is quite detailed. There are quite a few things to show. Do not miss any of these things out. How do you make sure that none of these things will be missed out while well, you go to your checklist? Remember, this checklist is mental, but you must keep it in your mind so that you don't mess up something on this diagram. So you check. Have you labelled your axis? Yes. Have you labelled the curves? Yes. There are no equilibrium on this diagram, so we can ignore that. Have we shown our four stages, boom, recession, recovery, and slowdown? Yes, we have, and labelled very beautifully. Have we shown and labelled our positive and negative output caps? Clearly. Yes, we have, very, very clearly. In which case, we are done. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Learn how to construct this, practice it, and I'll see you in the next video.